are five simple ways to incorporate Ayurvedic principles into your life every day. Determine your dosha. The three doshas, mind-body constitutions. Ayurveda says that the moment we were conceived, some divine source reached in to the master five elements and sprinkled some of those elements in each of our fundamental core being, almost at the level of the DNA, creating our own blend of the five master elements. And that combination creates within each of us our unique mind-body constitution or doshas. Ayurveda has developed a shorthand to describe the combination of the master elements, typically two combined to create a dominant concentration. So Vata is space and air, Pitta is fire and water, Kapha is water and earth. Since each of us is made up of all five master elements, space, air, fire, water, earth, that means each of us is made up of all three doshas, but one of them is rising to the top. That blend of all the five master elements is known as Prakriti. Prakriti is your life tendency. At the moment you were conceived, some divine source sprinkled space, air, fire, water and earth into your fundamental level of being, almost at the level of what we might today call DNA, to determine your life tendency. And from that moment of conception to birth, through your childhood years, your teens, your 20s, your 30s, 40s, 50s, 80s, 90s, 100s, that Prakriti will be the same. Eat and supplement for your dosha. I've learned that an important part of Ayurvedic health is diet and nutrition, and the chef here at La Costa is an expert. Let's go meet him. Hi Julie, How welcome. I'm Teresa. Nice to meet you, Teresa. This is Chef Greg Fry Jr. Hey Chef, how are you? Thank you. Good to meet you too. So Thank you. Nice and Looks great. Oh yeah, I'm always hungry. <laughs> so welcome to La Costa the Blue Fire Grill. Uh, Chef Greg is gonna show us how you can easily go home and prepare a really great Ayurvedic dish using these beautiful ingredients. Great. So I brought one of our dishes that we have on our menu, which is our lentils made with coconut and lemongrass. Yum. Lentils you can find just about any grocery store you go to. Yep. We'll start off with a little bit of olive oil in our saute pan. Now the lentils I've already cooked previously with a little veg stock and some kefir lime leaves. And we're going to throw these in and just start to get these sauteed. Now you got a beautiful black little color on this. Now I love to throw in lots of vegetables in with this. So we got some of our chopped fresh farmer's market vegetables, snap peas, carrots, cauliflower. In Ayurveda, we kind of talk a little bit more about infusing plant-based diet, and then all meals should include the six tastes. Every meal should include the six tastes? Um, as much as possible. And when you get a nice round of the six tastes, you're really getting a good variety of different vitamins and minerals, also flavors. What's well, astringent? Um, astringent and bitter kind of are the same um, kind of categories, mm -hmm. uh, whereas bitter and astringent foods are more like the dark greens like kale, chard, broccoli, cauliflower. There are more fruits in the astringent like cranberries, pomegranates, because you don't want to bite into them. Yes. It kind of has that drying effect. Yes. So bitter and astringent really work where they're detoxifying the body. They're also helping to um, dry out accumulated fats and fluids out of our system to really help us eliminate things that are not nurturing anymore. So I learned that I sort of fall in a pitta dosha. What would you uh, recommend? Yeah, definitely for, for, for pitta, cooling foods like more like melons, astringent, bitter, and then just a little bit less of the other taste, the pungent, which you called spicy and content. I love spicy food. You can yeah. still have a little bit of that, so it's not a lot, because remember, you already have that pungent fire as a pitta component, so if you're putting more, you're just adding more fuel to the fire. Ooh, that's beautiful, it kind of glows on the plate. Yeah. Lots of pretty little colors. Something like garlic, it actually has five tastes. Um, the beets have astringent and sweet. So when you're having a meal, you know, you can really simplify it, knowing that a lot of these foods do have two or more tastes. Oh, good. Chef, yeah, thank you. Very that welcome. That is so delicious. Great to meet you both. All right, thank you for making this beautiful meal for us. Meditate. Hi, 
Hi. Hi, I'm Sarah Harvey. Welcome. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Come on in. All right. Well, just sit like you're sitting. Yeah, just cross your legs. Really, the most important thing is that you're comfortable. <sighs> I'm comfortable. Good. It's quiet in here. Peaceful, right? It's nice, yeah. Yeah. Well, I've been told that I have a, a dosha that is pitta. So it's very fiery, a fiery um, be part of my being. Mm -hmm. The pitta needs to be cooled. So meditation takes you into that quiet space to find an alternate solution to stress and conflict. So the meditation that we're gonna practice today is called the Soham meditation, okay? okay. The way we practice this mantra is so on the inhale, hum on the exhale. So, hum. So, hum. Very easy. It doesn't need to align with your breath all the time. You're going to silently repeat this mantra to yourself as a part of meditation. So close your eyes, and we're going to start with a few deep breaths. So let's take a deep breath in. Release that breath. As you release your breath, you're letting go of anything that you're holding on to. Any tension, any constraint. Now I'd like you to begin silently repeating the So Hum Mantra. Remember to repeat So on the inhale and Hum on the exhale. The repetition of the mantra should be easy, effortless, and innocent. We always ask ourselves three questions. We call these the soul questions. Who am I? Who am I at my essential nature? do I want? The answer can be spiritual, ethereal, material. Anything that brings your heart all of its hopes and desires. When it's comfortable, open your eyes. Namaste. Namaste, Namaste is a traditional greeting that means I honor the divine light in you as you honor the divine light in me and we are one. And I wish you a day of pure joy and unbounded bliss. Thank you. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Practice yoga. Hi. Hi. Hi, Julie. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. Go ahead and take off your jacket. Okay. Yoga time. Um, my name is Libby and I'm one of the Vedic Master Instructors here at the Chopra Center. And I'm excited because today we're going to explore yoga. This particular style of yoga is called the Seven Spiritual Laws of Yoga. What's unique about this practice is that it's not just the Hatha yoga practice, but it's infused with the seven spiritual laws of success. So every day we focus on a different principle. So for example, let's say Thursday is the law of intention and desire. Yeah. So is there anything that you want to manifest in your life right now? Um, I mean, I'm pretty happy where I am in my life right now, but I would like to be a more patient person. More patient. Yeah. So one thing that's interesting about yoga, which is really the practice is to bring in strength, flexibility, and balance. And when you experience that on your yoga mat, you also experience that off the mat. So if you want to experience patience, being patient with your body and having patience in the practice on the yoga mat, I bet you anything you'll have that off the mat. Hi. Namaste. Namaste. So we've learned in Ayurveda that when we get to experience ourselves, our extended body, and all these elements of nature, it's really powerful. And to be able to practice yoga outside while breathing in the fresh air, amazing. So this is quite a treat. Oh, it is. So we're going to practice sun salutations. Come to the top of your yoga mat. 
And we're going to start in hands to heart center. Because we're outside in nature, let's take a deep breath in together. Inhale and exhale through the mouth. So inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Now allowing your eyes to float open, inhale hands to sky. And then exhale, bringing hands to feet. Going to bring the right foot back into equestrian pose. So there's a variation here. You can continue knee lifted off the yoga mat or bringing knee onto the mat. And then once you've found your strength and balance, inhale, reaching hands to sky. I like to imagine here as if I'm holding the sun and then exhale, hands to the mat, left leg moves back to meet the right into mountain pose. Beautiful. So with this pose, Julia, you can actually begin bicycling out the feet. So kind of walking the feet. So lifting right heel up, left heel down, and then coming back up onto the balls of the feet. I want you to now exhale, heels towards the mat. And then as you exhale, bringing knees to meet the mat. So bending up the knee and then lowering yourself down onto the mat. So tailbone is in the air and then exhale. Inhale, cobra pose. So elbows are in at your sides, shoulders down as you inhale, cobra. Exhale, mountain pose. Beautiful. From mountain pose, bringing left leg forward into equestrian and then reaching fingertips towards the sky. Exhale, hands towards the mat, right foot comes forward, hands to feet as you inhale, reaching hands to sky, and then exhale, fingertips wide as you bring hands to heart. And then close your eyes, feel the heartbeat. allowing your eyes to float open. The one thing to keep in mind is that we practice yoga, we practice meditation. Much like doctors practice medicine, right. doctors don't perfect medicine, we don't perfect yoga, we don't perfect meditation. Right. It's so a it's practice. a practice. Get out into nature. Another way you can bring Ayurveda into your everyday life is by what Deepak Chopra calls tuning into nature's gifts and accessing the bliss of nature. Experiencing the beauty and magnificence of nature can lead to ananda, a Sanskrit word meaning bliss. Walk barefoot on the earth for a few minutes each day. Walk along natural bodies of water. Allow the light and the warmth of the sun to permeate you. Take a walk where there is abundant vegetation and deeply inhale the breath of the plants. Gaze into the night stars. Allow your awareness to fill the heavens and the cosmos to fill your awareness. Seek ways to bring nature into your life using the five senses every day and experience the magic of nature. Namaste. The Chopra Center is proud to announce our brand new Ayurvedic online discovery program, a groundbreaking interactive online learning experience designed to deepen your understanding of Ayurveda and the mind-body connection. You'll discover what the ancient healing system of Ayurveda has to reveal about you and your essential mind-body type, known as your dosha. Explore ways to nurture your health and create balance and joy in your life. For more information, please visit us at ChopraCenteredLifestyle.com.